Hey software engineers, have you ever envisioned a path to success that leads you through the breathtaking landscapes of Switzerland? Picture yourself in the midst of the majestic Swiss Alps, savouring world-renowned Swiss fondue and exploring enchanting Swiss cities, all while forging a rewarding career. Switzerland is not just about gorgeous mountains, it's also known for amazing work opportunities. With some of the best job markets, salaries and employment laws, your experience here will be hard to forget and you'll enjoy all of it. I'm Daniel Aira and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this exhilarating journey. With several years of experience working in Switzerland across various sectors, including IT, I've had the privilege of witnessing how this country seamlessly merged technological innovation with awe-inspiring natural beauty. In this video, I walk you through the steps to unlock incredible job opportunities in a land celebrated for its pristine lakes, charming towns and world-class career prospects. While I can provide valuable insights and guidance, it's important to remember that I'm not a legal expert or lawyer. Visa and legal requirements can vary depending on your country and potential employer. Therefore, I encourage you to research and verify the specific visa and legal laws relevant to your unique situation. And remember, this guide is not just for software engineers, but for anyone looking to find their dream job in Switzerland. Now, before we dive into specifics, I want to introduce you to an excellent resource that will help you explore job opportunities in Switzerland. It's called Swiss Dev Jobs, and it's your gateway to finding software engineering positions in this beautiful country. To enter Switzerland, you'll also need a visa. For EU EFTA citizens, it's often easier to move, work, and reside in Switzerland. If you're from a known UA EFTA country, it may be more complex, but it's still very much possible. The type of visa you need depends on your nationality, purpose of stay and the duration of your intended stay. The various residence permits for nationals of EU and FTA member states are as listed. L permit, short-term stay. B permit, initial residence. C permit, settled resident. And CIU FTA permit, resident foreign nationals with gainful employment. G permit, cross-border commuters and Swiss nationals, citizens and dual citizens. Resident permits for national of third states, non-EU FTA, are as listed. Permit CI, residence permit with gainful employment. Permit F, provisionally admitted foreigners. And permit G, cross-border commuters permit. Permit N, permit for asylum seekers. Permit S, people in need of protection. You can find detailed information and specific requirements for these permits by visiting semadmin.ch official website. This resource will provide you with the most up-to-date information and detailed requirements for each permit category, depending on your nationality and circumstances. Feel free to explore these official resources for more precise and accurate information to ensure you have the right permits and visa in place for your intended stay in Switzerland. Switzerland, being a multilingual country, has language requirements for work permits. Depending on the region you'll be working in, you might need to prove your proficiency in the local language. In most tech roles in international hubs like Zurich or Geneva, English proficiency is often sufficient. But in other sectors or regions, knowledge of the local language may be necessary. Your potential employer will play a significant role in securing the right to work permit for you. They'll need to demonstrate that your skills and experience are unique and essential to the job you've been offered. This process involves your employer applying for a work permit on your behalf with the Swiss authorities. The application process can be quite detailed and it's essential to provide all the necessary documents to support your visa and permit applications. Documents usually include a valid passport, proof of health insurance, a clean criminal record, and your employment contract. Now let me share a personal experience that exemplifies the journey many individuals take when transitioning 
into a tech career in Switzerland. 12 years ago, I came from Italy, my home country, with dreams of exploring new horizons. I initially worked in restaurants and later in retail, never envisioning a future into the IT world. However, life have other plans for me. I discovered my passion for technology and decided to switch my career to IT. As I ventured into the world of software engineering, one of the key steps was securing the necessary work permits to make the move to Switzerland a reality. The journey was not without its challenges, but it eventually led me to Switzerland, where I now work as a software engineer. Along the way, I obtained a series of permits, starting with a G permit as a cross-border commuter, which allowed me to work in Switzerland while living in a neighboring country. Over time, I transitioned to the B permit for initial residents, which provided me an extended stay and work authorization. Finally, after several years of living and working in Switzerland, I was able to apply for the C permit, a settled resident status that has allowed me to make Switzerland my long-term home. And the journey didn't stop there. After several years of contributing to the vibrant tech landscape in Switzerland, I was privileged to obtain Swiss citizenship, a testament to the welcoming and inclusive nature of this beautiful country. It's a reminder that Switzerland not only provides incredible career opportunities, but also welcoming environment that can become a lifelong home for individuals like myself. Multilingualism is an essential part of Switzerland identity. Switzerland has four official languages, German, French, Italian, and Romance. Speaking the main language of the part you would be in is definitely an advantage and many companies require it. In Switzerland, each region predominantly speaks one of these languages. Speaking the main language of the region you're in can be a tremendous advantage. Many companies, especially those outside international hubs like Zurich, Geneva or Basel, may require employees to be proficient in the local language. For instance, if you have identified job opportunities in Zurich where German is the primary language, having a strong command of German will open doors. Likewise, in French-speaking areas like Geneva, knowing French is often a prerequisite. Knowledge of other languages that are necessary to perform highly in the Swiss market may also be Russian or Mandarin. However, in the IT field, English is often the lingua franca, making it easier for international professionals to find their place here. English proficiency is a significant asset in IT, and it can open doors to a multitude of opportunities. In fields like health insurance and the state or public sector, job candidates might be required to speak the local or canton language where they live. This means that while English proficiency is a significant asset in IT, in other sectors knowing the local language is essential. So when you're planning your software engineering career in Switzerland, consider not only the region you're in, but also the industry you wish to enter. Whether you choose to focus on your English fluency or take on the exciting challenge of mastering a local language, Switzerland offers a wealth of opportunities in a multitude of tongues. With this in mind, let's dive deeper into the steps you need to take to secure your dream job in Switzerland. Landing a job as a software engineer in Switzerland can be quite challenging, especially if you're a foreigner. Many Swiss companies tend to seek developers with at least two plus years of experience, but they offer competitive salaries that reflect this expectation. Don't be discouraged if you're a junior software engineer or have limited experience, as there are opportunities available particularly in the form of internship or trainee positions. The first key aspect to consider is your work experience. Swiss employers often look for candidates with a proven track record in software development. For those with a few years under their belt, the Swiss job market is more accessible and salaries can indeed reach impressive figures, often exceeding 100,000 Swiss francs per year. However, if you are at the beginning of your career, you might find that many companies seek more experienced candidates. While this might seem like a roadblock, it's worth considering 
alternative pathways, such as internship or trainee offers, these opportunities can provide invaluable experience and a foot in the door. The second crucial factor is the technology you specialize in. The demand for specific programming languages and technologies can vary in Switzerland. If you explore the job listing on platforms like Swiss Dev Jobs, you'll notice that there are numerous job offers for Java, JavaScript and C-sharp developers. These technologies are in high demand and offer exciting prospects. On the other hand, the job market for mobile, Ruby or C developers might not be as expensive, but your choice of specialization can significantly impact your job opportunities in Switzerland. As a software engineer, it's essential to stay updated with the latest industry trends and technologies. This will not only enhance your job prospects, but also help you excel in your role. In your journey to secure a software engineering job in Switzerland, it's crucial to leverage professional networking platforms like LinkedIn and specialized job search platforms like Swiss Dev Jobs. These resources will help you navigate the Swiss tech job market effectively. LinkedIn is a valuable resource for connecting with potential employers, recruiters and fellow professionals in the Swiss tech industry. It's important to have an optimized LinkedIn profile that showcases your skills and experiences. And this can catch the attention of recruiters and employers. Join LinkedIn groups and follow relevant companies and industry leaders in Switzerland. Engaging with professionals in the Swiss tech community can provide you with insights and networking opportunities. It's a great way to stay updated with industry trends and news. LinkedIn hosts numerous job posting in Switzerland for software engineers. You can use the platform's job research feature to find positions that match your skills and interests. Don't forget to set up job alerts to receive notifications for new job posting that align with your criteria. As I mentioned earlier, Swiss Dev Jobs is a fantastic resource for finding software engineering positions. You can also find their LinkedIn page and join their network to stay updated and job opportunities in the Swiss tech industry. Before diving into the interview process, let's take a moment to understand the software development landscape in Switzerland. Switzerland is a highly desirable destination for software engineers. However, due to the relatively small population of under 8.5 million, job opportunities in the IT sector can be somewhat limited compared to larger countries like Germany or France. Several factors come into play when searching for a software development job in Switzerland. Work experience and technologies, being from Switzerland or the EU. The interview process typically consists of two or three steps introduction call or coding task. This is the initial stage of the interview process. Video call with live coding for candidates outside Switzerland. A video interview may be scheduled to assess your skills. On-site interview. The final round involves visiting the company's office in Switzerland. Please note that not all companies offer reimbursement for travel and accommodation costs. Consider scheduling multiple on-site interviews on consecutive days to minimize travel expenses. Following the last interview, you should receive a definitive answer within the next two weeks. If you find yourself with multiple job offers, you may want to negotiate your compensation package. However, approach negotiations carefully as discussing money can be a sensitive topic in Switzerland. In Switzerland, the job interview process is a crucial step in securing a position as a software developer. Understanding the nuances and preparing accordingly will significantly increase your chances of success in this competitive job market. Now it's time to dive into a critical aspect of your career journey, salaries. First, let's address why salary is a crucial topic. Switzerland is known for its high living costs and salaries here often reflect the standard. However, it's essential to remember that Switzerland also offers competitive compensation packages making it a top destination for software engineers worldwide. Salary packages in Switzerland can vary significantly based on several factors. Here are the some key elements that influence your potential income. As mentioned earlier, 
Experience matters. Software engineers with a few years under their belts tend to earn more. Expect junior positions to come with lower salaries and senior roles with higher ones. The specific skills you bring to the table matter. Proficiency in certain programming language, tools, or domains may command higher pay. Switzerland's regions differ in living costs. Zurich, Geneva, and Basel are considered the most expensive. Consequently, salaries are often higher in these cities. Smaller towns and rural areas may offer lower but still competitive salaries. The size of the company can impact your salary. Larger companies or multinational corporations may offer more substantial compensation packages. The industry you work in can also affect your salary. Tech giants, finance and pharmaceuticals often provide higher salaries compared to startups or non-profit organizations. Let's talk numbers. While the salary for software engineers in Switzerland can range widely, it's essential to provide some averages for context. Please keep in mind that these numbers are approximate and can vary based on the factors I just mentioned. Junior engineers with limited experience can expect an average salary of around 70,000 to 90,000 Swiss francs per year. This varies by location and industry. Software engineers with a few years of experience often earn between 90,000 and 120,000 Swiss francs annually. Highly experienced senior engineers can enjoy salaries ranging from 120,000 to 150,000 Swiss francs or more depending on location and industry. Besides base salaries, many companies in Switzerland offer additional perks. These may include bonuses, health insurance, retirement plans, stock options, and generous paid time off. The specific benefits you receive can significantly enhance your overall compensation package. When considering a job offer, don't forget to negotiate. Negotiating your salary and benefits is a common practice in Switzerland. Be prepared to discuss your expectations, taking into account your experience, skills, and the cost of living in your chosen location. Understanding the salary landscape in Switzerland is a key step in your journey to becoming a software engineer in this stunning country. Remember, while high living costs are a factor, the competitive salaries and quality of life make Switzerland an attractive destination for tech professionals.